What's good, Fight Fans? This is Ashley's Corner. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. I want to talk about this fight coming up versus um, Joe Joyce versus Joseph Parker. It's going down in September. It's going to be on the 14th in Manchester, England. And uh, it seems like it's a little discrepancy right now. Well, it Joseph Parker is a little upset with um, Frank Warren about how... Uh, he was telling him about um, the contract and the money was different and it was supposed to be a one fight contract that turned into a three fight contract and he wants him to be the B side so you know Joseph Parker is very happy that he's fighting on BT Sports and it's a lot of things that's being said in between them two as far as the press conferences is going and um, it's really hard to keep straight exactly what's been going on but I'm here to talk about the fight. I think the fight is very interesting. It's going to be a very good heavyweight matchup. I'm going to start with Joe Joyce with the specs. Joe, Joy, Joe Joyce has 14 wins and no losses, 13 knockouts. He's fought for 63 rounds in his professional career. He get him out of there quick. He, uh, he has a knockout percentage of 92.86%. He's only been pro for four years and a half. Um, he's 36 years old. He's 6'6", six, six, very big man with an 80 inch reach and he fights out of the UK. Um, he stopped names, um, like Berman Stavern, uh, Daniel Dubois, Carlos Takam, Kristen Hammer, and, um, he, de he had a, de a decision win over Brian Jennings and he's coming off the TKO victory in the fourth round versus Hammer. And now he's scheduled to fight um, and be the A-side versus Joseph Parker. Says Frank Warren that um, in this fight, Joe Joyce will be the A-side is what Frank Warren is saying. Now, on to Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker has 30 wins and two losses. He has 21 knockouts. He's fought for 201 rounds. He um, has a knockout percentage of 65.63%. He's been pro for 10 years. He's 30 years old. He's 6'4", with a 76-inch reach. He's born out of New Zealand, New Zealand, but now he fights out of the UK. Um, and he has wins over Carlos Takam, Andy Ruiz, um, Huey Fury, and um, he has back-to-back -back wins over Derek Chisora. And um, his two losses came from Dillian White and AJ. Both of those was very good showings for him, in my opinion. Um, but he just couldn't edge out the victory when it came to the judges because both of those fights went to the scorecards. Um, but he's coming off of a, a victory as well, a um, unanimous decision victory versus Trezora. And he's now fighting Joe Joyce. Um, this is supposed to be a title eliminator fight. Uh, says Frank Warren. He says that this is going to be a, a, a eliminator fight for, um, not a title eliminator fight, but it's supposed to be a eliminator fight for the winner versus um, AJ versus Usyk. They say that whoever wins this fight is going to be fighting the winner versus um, AJ versus Usyk. Uh, I think it's going to be a very interesting fight. Both of these are big guys. Joe um, Joseph Parker says that he's going to box um, Joe Joyce's ears off. Joe Joyce is, is pretty slow when it comes to the hand speed and the feet, but he packs a powerful punch. Um, we see him destroy Daniel Dubois' eye socket and made him quit. So I think this is going to be a very good fight. And I like, I really do like Joe Joseph Parker's um, boxing ability in this fight. And I think if he comes in tip-top shape, he can really do some things in this fight, but I really don't see him beating Joe Joyce. Maybe my, maybe I will change my mind when this comes closer to the fight in September 4th, but I got Joe Joyce winning in decision or stopping Joseph Parker late. Always like and subscribe to the channel. Peace.